All right, we're gonna start the tour of 5477 Myrtle, Long Beach, California. As you can see here, beautiful neighborhood, a lot of pride of ownership. We got some nice uh, iron work here. We got a fence there. Looks like the motor may not be working. Got a nice long driveway that goes all the way to the back. Rock planters. Nice little beach house facade vibe entrance. According to the seller here, um, this home was completely rebuilt in the early 90s, late 80s. Because on, on title it shows as being built on 1923. But as you can tell, the inside feels a lot more modern than the 1923. On title, it is a two bedroom, two bath, but what actually is here is a three bedroom, two bath. It's the first bedroom as you first walk in. Closet, bedroom window. Of course, it needs all new flooring. It's gonna need modern updates. Coat closet, living room, vaulted ceilings, skylights, nice big window. Go to this end of the home. We got another bedroom here, which is an office. Of course, we got the closet. Here's the master bedroom. Nice size home, nice size uh, master. We've got the master bath. It's again, high ceilings, modern vibe, skylight. The shower may be salvageable. The seller runs a waterproofing business where they waterproof their showers and these showers have been waterproofed. Beautiful master bath. Looks like we've got an access panel there, but very beautiful skylight. Nice big master. Going back into the living room. Nice fireplace. Of course, need flooring throughout. Place kitchen. Video. Yeah, there you go. Thanks. <laughs> Got the nice kitchen here. The back living room here. So you can see a lot of space, high ceilings. Feels a lot more modern, of course, than the 1923 year built on title. Got the bathroom, another professionally waterproof shower, maybe salvageable. Beautiful skylight, very unique, I believe, in this area. Most of these homes do feel like they are. Built in 1923 and have very low ceilings, it seems, just from looking from the outside. Here is the bonus bedrooms. We got one bedroom here in the back, partially converted garage. As you can see here, you still got a functional garage. You can't park a car in here, but it's still a garage. We do got a roof leak here. As you can see, you can see straight through the shingles and the base layer. They waterproofed it as much as they could, but they may need a good patching or a whole new roof. All right, we got a second bonus room back here. Of course, these are unpermitted, but still a bonus. And these days, we all know buyers keep them as is and use them for office space, guest bedrooms, or actually use them as full-time bedrooms. Got the washer and dryer hookups there. Got what looks like maybe a sub panel there. Just a second look at the bonus room. 
get high ceilings. Give you a vibe from this area. All right, well there looks like we might have a leak there in the skylight, but not too bad. Went ahead and zoomed out on this one to the 0.5. <laughs> Alright, thank you.